2007, French railways decided to replace the rail bridge deck at saint gratien Damage was extensive and showed that the steel rail deck needed to be replaced. In 2010, the Val d'Oise Regional Council and local authority of saint gratien added to the project the widening of the bridge to remove congestion from the RD14. Tuesday, May 7, 2013, 11 p.m. The saint gratien Railway Bridge lets its last train pass. The stoppage of traffic marks the beginning of the project. The teams now have 120 hours to carry out all the work, track and overhead lines included. One hundred and twenty hours to move three thousand tons of structural parts. One hundred and twenty hours to transport twelve thousand cubic meters of materials. Five days with five challenges. First challenge: the removal of the existing rail deck. Wednesday, May eighth, eight a.m. After a rainy night during which the overhead lines and railway tracks were disposed of, excavators attack the mound and remove anything that might get in the way of lifting the deck. <music> 10 a.m. Sarans begins work. The company has installed industrial Chemex self-propelling trucks under the deck ready to support the structure. The lifting axles are powered up. Little by little, the 150-ton deck is raised. Then, the Camex start work slowly, shifting the metal mass to its temporary parking area, further along the Boulevard Pasteur. After 108 years of loyal service, the railway bridge of saint gratien says goodbye to its deck. For the second challenge, the VM team is all ready. A dozen excavators and hydraulic rock breakers will take turns for 20 straight hours to create the breach and evacuate the 7,000 cubic meters of earth and masonry that make up the track embankments and abutments of the old bridge. The previous width was 12 meters. It will be increased to 15 for the creation of a new traffic lane to remove congestion at the railway bridge. Hour after hour, the equipment eats at the mound and digs at the base of the abutments to clear the ground and prepare the bottom of the trench. Clear from topographic checks gives the signal to start the third challenge of the operation, routing the abutments. The concrete abutments, weighing 700 tons each, were prefabricated in a dedicated area along the railway. To handle them, four Kamek trucks are positioned on both sides of the abutment to support a transverse gantry. At each end of the girder, two hydraulic cylinders with cables, strand jacks, enable the abutment to be raised via handling plates embedded in the foundations. The laying of the first abutment is the first highlight of the site. The concrete mass is lifted up a few centimeters and transported to its final location. The limited space requires the trucks to pass very close to the trench. You can feel the tension on site. But the experience and expertise of Sarans soon dispels all fears. While 
industrial trucks and cranes are sent to the second abutment, the team of De Mathieu and Bard remove the lifting supports from the first abutment. That night, some sleep in their trucks without imagining that only a few meters away, a concrete monster is moving in the night. The second abutment is put in place between midnight and 2 a.m. on the night of the 9th of May. The margin of error is just millimeters. Like the abutments, the rail decks have been assembled at a prefabrication site between October 2012 and April 2013. Friday, May 10th, 8 a.m. It's time for the fourth challenge and second highlight of the operation. The decks are made up of metal girders set in a concrete U-shape. Measuring 30 meters long, they weigh 380 tons each. 2.20 p.m. The second deck is set down smoothly on its final supports. The railway bridge has arrived at its final destination. After verification and position checks, the deck is jacked onto the supporting abutments. The structural bearings are then sealed. 10 hours is enough for the concrete to reach its optimal strength. At the same time as the decks are put in place, VM is preparing for the ultimate challenge of the project, the railway embankment. Once again, trucks come and go with the regularity of a metronome. From Argenteuil, they bring the materials to fill around 5,000 cubic meters. The filler is deposited at the back of the abutments, where it is spread, piled up, and compacted in layers of 30 centimeters. The abutments are completed by L-shaped retaining walls that define and stabilize the slope. Saturday, May 11th, midday. The backfill is completed, faces relax. The end of the project is close. All that remains are certain finishing touches. The supports are removed from the decks. Saturday, May 11th, afternoon. Then, installation starts. The railings, transverse joints, walkways, and longitudinal joints between the decks. Finally, the old deck is transferred to the demolition area. Sunday, May 12th, 8 a.m. After 96 hours of uninterrupted work, De Mathieu et Bar sign off on the project, delivering on all of its commitments. La grosse difficulté du chantier, c'est le manque de place. Le gros problème, c'est de mettre une pièce à quelque part et en fait, ça peut gêner d'autres entreprises, donc euh, on peut très vite dévier sur le planning. J'ai eu mes 60 ans hier et je les ai fêtés sur le chantier en travaillant, bien sûr. Le gars qui est parti le mardi soir et qui revient le dimanche soir, il a un nouvel ouvrage au milieu de son boulevard et euh, voilà quoi, je trouve ça un peu impressionnant quoi. Enfin, c'est quand même quelque chose d'exceptionnel. Regardez, c'est formidable et c'est transformé. <rire> Bravo à tous. <rire>